Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryan here. In today's CCNP route video practice exam, I've got a couple of bonus exam tips for you here as well. And the questions today are on advanced EIGRP. We're going to step the level up just a little bit here. I'm not going to give you any multiple choice questions today because I've found over the years, as many of you have, that when you practice with a lot of short answer questions, the multiple choice questions on the exam are much easier. And I've got a new tool coming to uh, help you out with that in early 2012. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump right into these questions. First off, for EIGRP, we got to know the reliable and unreliable packet types. We know that, but what are they? Without looking at the list, name the reliable EIGRP packet types. And, of course, you already know what the second question is. Name the unreliable EIGRP packet types. Unreliable doesn't necessarily mean bad, just like the TCP UDP battle you learned about in your NA studies. Question three, what command can be used to adjust the default percentage of bandwidth available to EIGRP on a given interface? And I actually have two more questions for you regarding that. Second question, where should that command be configured? We'll see that on live equipment in just a moment. And then a third question for that, what's the default value for that anyway? So I've got three questions there on EIGRP bandwidth on an interface. What command can be used to adjust it? Where should the command be configured? And then what the default is to begin with. Now EIGRP stub routing, we know that can be used to help limit the scope of dual queries. But if you configure an EIGRP router as stub and use only the EIGRP stub command with no options, what kind of routes will that stub router be allowed to advertise? And this is something you got to know even with iOS help because iOS help might not help you out too much with that one. Before we jump into the answers, I do want to invite you to join me out on Twitter and on YouTube. Of course, you may be watching this video there and on Facebook. We're having some great conversations out there about Cisco exams and, of course, some CompTIA exams as well. So feel free to join us out there. We'd love to see you. Now, those reliable EIGRP packet types, the query packet that I mentioned a moment ago, that is a reliable packet type. So is update and so is reply. And that only leads two packet types. Our hellos and our acts, while very important, are actually considered to be unreliable in EIGRP. So again, our reliable packet types are query, update, and reply, unreliable, hello, and act. Now, as for this bandwidth command, the actual command we're going to use, of course, with EIGRP, you know it's got to be a long-winded command. But it doesn't begin with EIGRP. It actually begins with IP. And let me call the live equipment up, and we'll take a look at that. This is going to go on a interface, so it's going to be at the interface level. And the command is IP bandwidth percent. And you can see set EIGRP bandwidth limit, simple enough, but there is one other little thing you got to watch out for with this one. I catch people on exams with this once in a while. Of course, with EIGRP, you know it's got to actually say EIGRP somewhere. And then the autonomous system number comes next. So let's assume AS100. And a couple of things here. You'll note that we have to specify the bandwidth percentage that makes sense. But sometimes it throws people off a little bit when they see two numbers in this command. If there's only one number at the end of the IP bandwidth percent command, it's illegal. Because you've got to specify EIGRP, then you've got to specify the autonomous system, and then you've got to specify the maximum bandwidth percentage. I do discuss this in my NP uh, study guide and DVD, and I'll make a video on it eventually as well. But this is actually not a mirage, because you would expect to see 1 through 100 here for maximum bandwidth percentage, and it is actually legal to set it over 100. So a couple of little exam tips there I wanted to give you. First off, make sure you see two numbers at the end of this command in any practice exam or real exam that you take, of course, and that that last value can be higher than 100, and it's the actual maximum bandwidth percentage. One little command, two little tricky things to watch out for. The default for that is 50%. Then finally, really important command here, but something else that can kind of throw you, even when you look at iOS help, 
If you're configuring an EIGRP router as stub, what kind of routes is that router going to be allowed to advertise? Well, let's take a look at the command to begin with, and that would actually go in our EIGRP config. And does it begin with EIGRP? Yes, it does. You can see stub right here, so we'll take a look at the options. And you can see that our options are connected, static, and summary as far as what kind of routes this router will be allowed to advertise. And there's also a receive only option. But there's also a CR, which means the command is legal as it stands. But it doesn't say, hey, you know, if you hit this, here's what you're going to be advertising. By default, an EIGRP stub router can advertise directly connected and summary routes. So a very important default there because iOS help is not really helping us out there. Again, it's directly connected and summary routes. If you just want one of those things to happen or all three, you're going to have to actually go ahead with a further configuration, but a very important default to know. Thanks for watching today's CCNP route video practice exam. Plenty more on the way. And thanks again for watching. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog. Enjoy your day.